with the Chinese insurgents. And villages were grouped. That is, they brought the villagers to live together and they were fed, they were given rations, everything, but not allowed to go to their fields. That was grouping. It was terrible for a villager to stay idly there, even though he got his food properly, he was looked after, he was protected. But that was, uh, as soon as center took over, uh, that was uh, given up. But it was done by the army in between the year 55 and 57. Fortuny <laughs> Ranaka in 1963, the government of India created the state of Naga land by combining the Naga hills and Tunsang. But this was only a third of the total Naga traditional lands. The rest of the Naga lands remained in Manipur, Assam and Arunachal Pradesh. The Naga territories in Manipur lie in Tamenglong, Senapati, Ukrul and Chandel. The unification of these Naga lands has been a cherished goal of the Naga movement. The creation of the state of Naga land thus failed to diffuse the struggle. In 1975, during the time of internal emergency under Indira Gandhi, an accord was signed at Shillong with an influential section of FISO's followers. They called themselves the representatives of the underground organizations and accepted the constitution of India. But AZ FISO remained silent on the accord. General Thinoseli, former chief of the Naga army says, It was made secret. And the architect of Shilong Accord was Mr. Yale. He came over down saying that he was a contact man. And the Indian took advantage of him, taken him to peace camp, fancy with his barbed wire, guarded by the Indian soldiers. From there he made this uh, draft and secretly said to Mr. Dashi Hure, when Shilong Accord was known only by Dashi and those only signatories, all the people did not know. The signatories of the Shilong Accord organized a surrender of arms by a section of the Naga underground. Several of the guerrillas who had surrendered were absorbed into the Indian military establishment. The rest were settled in peace camps guarded by the Indian Army, like this one at Kohima. The accord also said that the signatories could formulate other issues which could be discussed for a final settlement. More than 25 years have passed. Waiting still continues in the peace camps.
what is Shillong Accord? Shillong Accord is just what uh, is precisely this, divide the leadership. You should never try to divide the leadership. I, for one, think that it was a mistake not to have negotiated when Mr. Fizo was there. You are more keen to see that weaken Mr. Fizo, let other groups come up. It's a, it's a rotten strategy. It's a, it's a myopic view. I, for one, would strengthen the established leaders so that if you come to an understanding with them that they can sell the accord. A section of the Naga National Council, which was unsatisfied with the Shillong Accord, formed the National Socialist Council of Nagaland in 1980 under the leadership of Isaac Chishi Swu, Thung Lang Muiva and SS Kaplang. The armed struggle with the Indian forces continued under the NSCN, which constituted a parallel government, Government of the People's Republic of Nagaland. In 1988, the NSCN split into two. The faction under Isaac and Muiva became the NSCN-IM and the group under the leadership of SS Kaplang became the NSCN-K. NSCN-IM has emerged as the more powerful and politically representative Naga group. The lives of the ordinary Nagas of the past three generations have been spent under the overbearing gaze of the Indian armed forces. Almost every village has a group of hostile armed personnel stationed at its gate or at some strategic point. Draconian laws like the Armed Forces Special Powers Act confer the authority to kill, search and detain with total impunity. Civilian rule has been undermined by the overwhelming presence of the armed forces in these areas. This has also resulted in grave violations of the basic rights of the people. March 10, 1982. The soldiers of the 21st Sikh Regiment came to the village. They had a list of Nagas whom they suspected. Paul and Daniel were taken to the nearby army camp. No one has seen them since.